Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're gonna talk all about nails. I get so many questions from you guys about how I get them to grow, how I keep them strong, all these questions all the time. Every time you guys ask how I grew my nails these strong, I also ask myself how that happened, especially going from weak, brittle, nail-biting nails. And my nail beds were always like really unhealthy, cuticles looked like trash. I'm just gonna go through and share with you guys what I did and hopefully you gain some tips and tricks from that. Now, I don't have this like magical answer on how to make nails grow. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure how mine are continuing to grow. I held back from making this video for a minute because I was like, what if it's pointless? What if it's pointless? I think maybe since you guys keep asking, it might not be. So let's go ahead and go right into it. I have my little paper here. I wrote down all your questions that I get. Do I get my nails dipped into any powder? No, I do not get any type of dip. It's just the manicure, bare nails, and then she applies the gel polish right on top. What do I ask for when I go to the nail salon? When I go to the nail salon, I ask for a gel manicure, square shaped. She does taper them a little bit, not coffin, but just square and then she She'll gradually taper them upwards. Kind of gives it a little bit of a feminine curve. What is my go-to nail color? A lot of you guys know I get the same color every time. I'm a creature of habit. I love my nails to be nude. Nude is for me. I'm kind of one of those people that it'll drive me nuts if my nails don't match my outfit. That's just how I am. I mean, it drives me nuts. I'll try to get red polish and then I'll have it for a day and I have like regrets. Like I look at it and it freaks me out. I usually just get a nude and my favorite, favorite gel polish is OPI Put It In Neutral. This is the ultimate color. It actually matches my backdrop. I would describe it as a sheer watered down nude. So you still see through to your natural nails. So it kind of just makes your natural nails look polished and bright. That's the color that I love. My favorite. There you go. I put it on YouTube. I used to be a massive nail biter, like really, really bad. I would bite my nails all the time. I found the only way not to bite my nails was to get acrylics. Starting high school, I started to get fake nails because it was a lot harder to chew off fake nails even though I did once or twice or a few times, but it was a lot harder to bite my nails when they were fake. We have our habits and I wanted to break it. So I used to get acrylics and everything was fine. And then one day I developed an allergy for acrylic nails. Did you guys know that you can develop allergies? Like you don't have them. And then all of a sudden one day, surprise, you're allergic. I would get inflammation around my cuticles, hardcore, like disgusting red, inflamed cuticles and it would itch like crazy. I would be in class like rubbing my fingers against my jeans because they was so itchy. On top of that, when I would take a hot shower, my cuticles would burn. It was not pleasant, so I knew I had to figure out another solution. Eventually, I started to get something called SNS powder, which is something I've told you guys on Twitter. SNS powder is a more natural powder and it's a dipping powder that they put on your nails that's not acrylic. So if you are allergic to acrylic, SNS was always a really nice powder, super thin, didn't irritate me at all. The only problem I found was that I would be breaking nails all the time, like boom, broken nail, boom, broken nail. Open the refrigerator, broken nail. I would have more broken nails than not. I would break them so easily, sometimes I would look down and not even realize how I broke it or when it happened, but it would just be missing. So that brings me into the natural nail movement. It's not really a movement, but whatever. One day I went into my nail salon and I said, you know, I think I'm just gonna give up on fake nails for a little bit. I want my nails to breathe. I don't want to have fake nails anymore. They just keep breaking and let's just cut them all off and start from scratch. At first they were a little bit weak. What I ended up doing was cutting all my nails and I just started to get gel manicures because you add layers and layers of gel. My natural nails wouldn't break because they were protected by that gel. I kept going back for my appointment every two weeks and my nails were just starting to grow. That's when my nail tech was like, let's just see how long your nails will grow naturally before we keep cutting them just to see if you can grow out your nails by yourself. And I've been doing that ever since. And I know you guys want to hear this like magical story or secret. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure how mine are continuing to grow. I will give you guys some tips and tricks that I know that make nails grow, but I didn't do anything except the gel manicures on a frequent basis. If you stopped getting the manicure and you let them chip, then it was like a chance for them to break. But I never really did that. I just kind of kept going and getting these manicures. Fast forward to now, these are just the nails. I don't know how they're so strong, but I do have a few theories. One being, I kept getting gel manicures. I know a lot of people say they have problems with gel 
as to it chipping or like peeling off or lifting. I will say that I think it has a lot to do with your nail tech. I used to go get gel manicures at other places. My gel would lift and I would start picking it. If you're a picker, you understand any little lifted edge drives you nuts and you're like, picking, picking until you're satisfied when you get it all off. I totally understand that feeling. It's that fixation that I also had when I was biting my nails. Once I switched nail techs, I realized that it must have something to do with the technique and probably also the gel polish, depending on how, you know, some nail techs may use cheaper nail polish. I mean, the one I use is always just OPI and it never fails me. And I actually do four layers of gel. They're thin so they don't get too clumpy or raised. You know that like bulge that you can get if you have too much polish? It never does that. And those four layers are what really keep my nails extra strong and I have not broken a nail since the day I decided that I didn't want fake nails and we just went natural. And it's just amazing to me that I have not broken one because I can't tell you how many times I was out at an event when I had fake nails and I'd be like embarrassed because I would break a nail or two nails and it just looked kind of crazy. I did go through a period where I took biotin. So biotin is something that helps with your nails, skin, and hair. For me, it made my skin freak out so I had to stop taking it. I don't think that attributed at all to my nail growth. I believe at that time my nails were already growing. I had a really weird reaction to it. I know some people do, a lot of people don't. Um, but knowing me and my sensitive ass, of course, I did. As far as other vitamins, I don't take any. I'm the worst vitamin taker ever. My trainer can't get me to take anything. He's like, supplements, take some green tea, take some this, take some that. I'm like, for sure, never take them. He doesn't watch my channel, so he'll never see this. I will say I eat somewhat clean, occasionally not. A healthy diet will help with nail growth as well, just like it helps with your skin and all that stuff. Going back to the importance of having a good nail tech, I really do believe that the amount of filing a nail tech does when they do do your fake nails has a lot to do with the strength of your nail when you take them off. Here's a picture of my natural nails. This is after she buffed off all the gel. So this is what my natural nails look like. I've had other nail techs do my nails before and they filed them down so thin that my nails felt like paper. Whereas I feel like now that's not the case. They're not filed down that thin. Even when I remove the gel, she never files down my real nail. She always just peels off the gel by soaking them and it's totally fine. At the end of the day, for me, it came down to frequent gel manicures and just the nail technician not filing my natural nails down at all. Now I'm just gonna give you guys some tips that I've researched, not from personal experience, but just, you know, a little Google just in case you're watching and you might wanna know, like how can I try to grow my nails? Here's some tips. Massaging your cuticle beds with olive oil once a day can help promote healthy nail growth. This one's kind of weird to me, but I did read that soaking your nails in fresh orange juice once a day for 10 minutes is supposed to be really good for nail growth. Google said it. I'm not arguing. Vitamins, B9 really helps. Biotin, like we mentioned earlier. And then also vitamin C, which is also really good for your skin. I use like a vitamin C serum for my skin. Everything that helps your nails also helps your skin. You kind of just have to test and see what works for you. Yeah, those are all my tips. I hope I answered everything. That is my nail growth journey. Those are all the questions you guys have always asked me about my nails. If you have any other ones, feel free to put them in the comments down below, just in case I forgot, I will answer them for you. You, no problem comment in the comment section let me know if you have trouble growing your nails if you also have a nail biting problem I understand thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye oh my god almost forgot to tell you guys something I'm already in my onesie but I had to come back to tell you guys this story when my nails were really weak and I was desperate I told my dad my nails keep breaking they can't grow he told me eat jello Jello makes your nails strong. I can't even tell you guys how much Jello I ate after he told me that. And guess what? Jello constipates you, okay? Thanks, Dad. I'm just gonna say that. Although my nails did feel pretty strong after that, I will say, but I had issues other places. So I don't think people need to know how long. Just something I had to tell you guys. You know those posters where they're holding the rose? Every nail salon has one. You know what I'm talking about. That's all I got right now. It looks like a hamster attacked me.